three, two, one. Our grid down readout system is now live. We are generating our own energy and it's EMP protected. And Daniel's gonna kind of walk us through the key features of this system because we just declared our energy independence. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Jonathan and this is Daniel and Daniel has installed this grid down readout system for us and he's going to tell us a little bit about how it all works. So Daniel, start right from the top, right from the sun and teach us about this system. First off, it wasn't just me, it was a great team with the line energy electrician and install team, they did a great job here. So I appreciate their help. Essentially, we've added uh, 10, 11 kilowatts of solar. Uh, with your solar, you have the ground mount system and then you have rooftop solar. Uh, we have redirected your power from your main service, 200 amp service, through our inverters um, and then back from the inverters to the rest of your house. So it's a, it's a whole home capture and this is your, your 200 amp disconnect uh, with a rapid shutdown button in order to shut it off in emergency situations that kills your inverter and batteries and stuff. If there was some emergency here, like a fire, the firemen would come here and what would they do? They'd, They'd pull jerk that, that down and then hit that button. Hit that button. And it shuts everything that, down on that system. Because they don't want anything energized when they're trying to fight a fire with Correct. water and such. So, yep. And we also have on the tower of power, as I call it, a shut off there that will kill that energy Absolutely. coming in. So A DC disconnect there to be able to shut the solar that goes over to the the inverters from that actual part of it so yeah the big question here daniel is one of my grandkids gets a little wild and comes and pushes that button what what happens well it'll shut down the inverters and all the power is passing through that so it will shut down your house at the same time because then it doesn't allow the power to pass through so you hit that button and shuts it down all you got to do is twist that because it's a locking button okay and it'll pop back out and then it'll re-energize everything it'll go through its process to turn it on but then the power passes through okay so we're, we're not going to blow up the house or anything no, it's just gonna it's just gonna just shut things it's down like it's supposed shut to shut down just like it's supposed to that's for like a sheet, like we talked uh, fire situations that's what the fire department looks for is this those disconnects to shut everything off just kill to all kill power. all power through the house so all right let's so let's go inside and we'll talk about the rest of the system in there to me this is where the magic happens tell us how it how it does its job. Absolutely. So we have two inverters here with four batteries. And we have a grid power uh, sub panel that supplies power to the inverters. And then a sub panel that supplies power to the house after the inverters. So from that 200 amp disconnect outside, that power runs over into this panel. This panel has two 100 amp breakers in it that feed the two inverters. We also have a 200 amp breaker that feeds and we'll talk about that in a minute, but that transfer switch that's over here okay. that can supply you power if you need to because this isn't working or we're doing service on it. Okay. So, plus you also have your uh, EMP shield stuff plugged into this and that's to protect all of this from EMP situations. So, power goes to these two inverters from each 100 amp breaker. And then from these two inverters, it goes over here to this sub panel. This sub panel is what we call the loads, if I can open it. Load sub panel, once again, inverter one, inverter two, and your EMP shield is installed in there. So it comes into here, and then from there, we take it over to the transfer switch. Tell us about these things here on the side, these switches and what they yep. do. So this is your communication. It's connected okay. to the Wi-Fi of your home. On off switch for inverters, if you just need to shut them off, that's like hitting the button out at the rapid shutdown button that's outside, that does the same thing. It just shuts off the whole system. Okay. This is your DC switch. Now that's for your solar panels, the rooftop solar on our ground mount system. Okay. There's two strings going to each one of these. And so if you need to, for some reason, shut this DC power off so that's not coming from the panel because they got to do work or whatever, you can just turn that off and shut the DC power down from there. Now, one thing you mentioned, and I, I've really enjoyed this little antenna, that feeds my ability to pull this up online. I, I can sit and, I mean, I could stare at this all day. I have to be careful because, I mean, I'm, I'm watching the power coming in from the solar. I'm watching the battery percentage. I'm watching what our loads are and whatever we're exporting to the grid. And, and that, that is just fun. 
fun so, for me if for an engineer i guess but. absolutely i i think it's fun for everybody because everybody likes to see if their system's doing what it's supposed to be doing whether it's producing or not lion energy has a app that you're able to download called lion energy smart app that you can look at and you can see what it's doing based off of production and consumption and what's going on with the battery the state of charge and all the information that's necessary so that you can make sure your system working and also be happy about the savings that you'll be able to enjoy with that. Yeah, I've watched it for hours now. Well, probably not hours, but <laughs> but for a while I've been, I like, to, I like to sit down every day and kind of look at what's happening with the system. And, and to me, that's, that's really cool. And also knowing that, that you can adjust whatever needs to be adjusted on your end and that's the nice thing for it is that it because it is linked wi-fi you can call us before we have to send anybody out we're able to troubleshoot that and figure out what might be going on if something's going on and then determine if it needs someone to come down and take a look at so and, and one thing that i love is this battery system because i've played with lead acid batteries and having to fill them and i decided a long time ago that's not a system that i want to have to deal with you know having to irrigate the batteries and and deal with all that and they're much much larger and in my opinion much more dangerous what we've got here is just to me the ideal system that i've been waiting a long time for absolutely and the maintenance for these is basically nothing especially on your end um, lithium iron phosphate batteries are the safest batteries on the market so that runaway battery has been a, a scary definitely deal with the nickel cadmium and those different batteries there there's a lot of maintenance you have to keep those ph balances taken care of and you have to always be monitoring that now obviously we monitor that because sometimes batteries go bad sometimes they quit working sure. sometimes we gotta rebalance them because for some reason it's not discharging right or something but that's minimized this system is able to do that because it's drawing through this wiring system drawing from them hopefully equally so that the system can be able to last for as long as you would like it to last so yeah. Yeah. now we're back to where we started so daniel tell us about what we've got here all right so we talked about the inverters those two sub panels over there one's for the grid coming to it to feed the inverters the others to take the load from the inverters and then combine it back into take to the house that's what this comes into this is the the load coming that goes to the home those two breakers feed the sub panels that are inside the house okay. down in your basement also coming from that grid panel that's over there we have a grid side and then we have the battery side so that inverter inverter that sub panel all of that comes to this first and then it sits in the middle of of this where this off switch is to feed this panel so you can put it on grid or you can put it on battery what if we got some problems? What if for some reason the, the system goes down and it doesn't pass your power through the way that it's supposed to? You know the grid's still on. You can come and switch that to the grid port on the top so that you're able to get power coming back and then you can call us to have us come take a look at what's going on with the system and find out what it is. Or if we need to come do some maintenance so that we can not shut your power off during that time, we can put that in the grid setting and still do maintenance on our system. That's awesome because my wife loves having energy when she needs it. So the ability to switch that back and forth. And, and as we said, this, this is where we want to be is on the battery side. We want to be running off this system, which includes getting credits for energy that we put back onto the grid system. You know, knowing that we could go back there if we had to, that's an important feature for me. Absolutely. And this is something that we with Lion Energy recommend that everyone puts something like that in so that whether it's a whole home redirect or if it's coming from a sub panel and we're just doing 50 amps on a one inverter system, that's, this makes it so we don't have to shut anything down. Those backup loads aren't going to get shut down if we're feeding it just from a breaker. So That's so awesome. And of course, Daniel, one of the important features of this is the EMP protection. The EMP shields that are on the inside of these, or in this case, on the outside of these, protecting us from electromagnetic energy that could destroy the system. Tell us about how that works and why that really is significant. Well, that's always a concern, especially now with uncertain times that we're dealing with. Um, the EMP shield makes it so that this is protected both through the ionization and also through the transfer through the wire. 
if you deal with it, figure out what EMPs do, there's two phases of it that causes that issue. So this is able to help absorb that so that it doesn't blow your, your system when it comes to that. There's two, because um, there's two strings in this, um, DC strings in each inverter, and there are two EMP shields that are attached to those strings to protect that also. And then there's an EMP shield on all of your main sub panels, um, even on the outside, um, so that they can protect that surge that can happen during an EMP uh, to stop it from blowing electronics or computers, and mainly computer stuff is what you're worried about. Yeah, and so we've got protection on both the DC side, which is our solar panels and, and the DC stuff coming in, um, as well as the AC side. Yep. So we've covered all our bases. That's correct. Okay. Anything else that you think we ought to know about or that you find either fascinating or important that we should understand. I think we've covered it all. Okay. It's, a, it's a great system and I'm excited for you guys to have that and to have your energy independence. So. If you want more information about the Grid Down readout system, go to griddown.com and if you use the promo code PROVIDENT, they'll give you a 7% discount. Now for the question of the day, what questions do you still have about the Grid Down readout system? Share with us. And thanks for being part of the solution.